going to show you the finished sanctuary. There's the door, the flying Moroccan door I made years ago with broken mirror I found on the side of the road. And there's the, I believe it's the Hamsa design from Morocco. It's a good luck symbol. So in here is, I painted the um, walls lilac as you as you saw in one of the previous pictures. It's a lot more serene than it was before. And here is an old paper mache chair I did. I made this from scratch many years ago, probably 15 years ago. It's made from cardboard tubing, pieces of cardboard and paper mache pulp. I have to actually do a little bit of a men job on it right there. And I think I'm going to dangle um, a gem or some kind of bead in there. Here's a, a little bed that I got with um, a nice little comforter. The comforter kind of reminds me of mandalas. This is where I sleep sometimes. And up here, it, they're going to be the um, 60 and 60 cartoons. I'm choosing several of my favorite ones and I'm going to print them off and put them in that little grouping. A little dangly. I had lots more danglies that I actually got rid of. And here's a, a little bit of an altar in the corner. And there's the Virgin Mary. Got some fresh flowers. I've got Buddha. A beeswax candle. There's a slug there. It's a handmade slug. I'm not really sure. I better look up what the significance of that is. This in Feng Shui, this room is my money corner and it used to be incredibly chaotic. So I'm hoping it's going to improve the money situation. Here's a little old desk that I had repainted and revamped. A friend gave it to me. I think it was a dressing table. Here we've got a, a bowl, it really sounds beautiful. I hope to meditate in here. There's my laptop so I can have this view when I'm doing a bit of work or do, surfing the net. Isn't it pretty and juicy? I should move those chairs out of the way. And on the other side here is Another kind of an altarish thing. There's the Buddha, an angel. You can see the other part of the backyard there. And I've got like a little music box here where my squeeze box is, my little ukulele. Hopefully one day I'll pick it up again. And right here is a djembe drum that I painted many years ago. It's kind of fun to drum corner is the armoire. It's well over 100 years old and I use it to store some of my packing stuff and to store linens and such. And there's the, a view of the door from this other angle. This is a pretty pretty small room. It's probably 10 by 12. You can see the bed. The bed here is for guests or for me if I just need some quiet time. And on the floor I hope to be meditating and doing some yoga. Hope you've enjoyed the little tour. I forgot to show you this, this lamp that I made quite a few years ago, probably 10 years ago. Um, it was, I found it in a dumpster behind a, a hotel and my partner at the time and I drilled holes in it and beaded, beaded it. It took us about 15 hours to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this here or not. It's not a very zen looking piece, is it? The thing I forgot to show you is the writing above the window. To thine own self be true. This was written about 18, 19 years ago up there by a true sign painter. And I loved it so much I've kept it all these years through the different paint jobs I've had. And now I'm going to smudge the room. 
I'm using some sage here to sweet grass or to um, to cleanse the this room, the sanctuary. I plan on taking away all the negativity and making sure that it's it's clean, the energy is clean and and just lovely and pure. So I go around all the entire room and I go all the way up into the corners and all the way on the ground and then up in the air and and I say a little prayer of invocation while I do the smudging. I'll just um, say that something about I take away all the negativity from this room so that the energy is is pure and beautiful and then I go around to the entire room and do this okay now I think it's ready for meditating and for doing a little bit of yoga thanks for watching